All right, hey everybody, this is John with Dead Drift Outdoors. It is 2023, we're in the month of February. I haven't been out to make a video in quite a while. I haven't made a fishing video in several months, but I'm super happy to be back out here. It is a, kind of a gray day, but temps are around 40 degrees. I was up checking my boat today and decided to stop and fish this little wild trout stream. It's full of little wild brown trout, so hopefully I'll be able to find a fish or two to break the ice for 2023. So. Glad to be back and thanks for being patient with me and we'll get to fishing. All right, heading farther upstream. Um, haven't gotten any fish yet. Saw a couple suckers. Could have swore I saw fish rise earlier, and now I am seeing uh, good numbers of uh, midges and decent numbers of some stoneflies. Some pretty good sized stones too. So I switched up. I'm fishing a uh, a black depth charge hairs and uh, birds nest so it's kind of a stone fly looking pattern and then I've got a little just a little zebra midge on we'll see if we can this is usually a decent hole right here usually a fish or two in here Felt like a fish. Could be wrong, but. Nope, there we go. Oh, I'm rusty. There we go. First fish of 2023. Heck yeah. Let's see what he ate. I thought I felt a, a hit on that first first drift through there. I'm very curious if he ate the zebra midge. No, he ate the bird's nest. The depth charge. Heck yeah, just a nice little wild brown to start off the year. Absolutely thrilled, couldn't be happier. So cool. All right, so finally broke the ice with that nice little wild brownie. I did get another hit right in this little fast water, so we'll see. It is funny though, you'd think with the water being as cold as it is in the middle of February that the fish would be in that slack water, but that guy was right up, right along that current and he was, he was feeding, so. So yeah, I don't know if they've just switched on or, or what, but hey, let's see if there's another in there. There we go. That's a bigger fish too. That's a nice brown for this stream. All right, back to back. Oh, and he ate the little zebra midge.
Another fish. They are stacked up in this little hole here. It's wrapped up. Come here, dude. There we go. Man, they are stacked in that little hole. Another nice fish. A little fatter, too. Oh, he ate the zebra. They're eating that little midge. Heck yeah. All right, hey guys, I'm back. This is gonna be part two of the video, hopefully. I was out last week for one of my first trips and managed to catch a few nice little wild brownies. Very excited, first trout of the season, but only a few fish, so in order to get a nicer video for you guys, I figured I'd come out this afternoon. We've got a big snowstorm rolling in tonight, so just a few hours here to fish, and I'm on a small wild brook trout stream here in central New York, a little bit higher in elevation. As you can see, we got some snow. Temps are a little bit cooler, but up above freezing, pushing up towards 40, hopefully. And yeah, I've only got maybe, yeah, two and a half hours to fish. So we'll see what we can do. Haven't had any success with these little brookies yet this season, but hopefully today will be the day and uh, I'll quit talking and we'll get to fishing. So let's see what we get into. All right, well, I'm down here at the creek and uh, water conditions look really good. I'm sure the water's ice cold. It's only about 35 degrees, 36, but very little ice, good amount of flow. And being a tiny little creek, I broke out my LL Bean Streamlight six and a half, three weight. I've got about, um, let's see here, got a tapered leader. It's about five and a half feet down to a three X. And I've got a number 14 stimulator with some white on top for visibility mainly as just an indicator and then just starting out with a little 16 tungsten bead head guides choice hair's ear and we'll see if the brookies are are hungry this afternoon I haven't caught a brook trout yet this year so that would be exciting Oh, that fish just ate the dry. That brookie, he's right there, I see him. He just ate that dry fly. That's pretty incredible. I still see him though, he's hanging. There he is. Oh wow, what a pretty brook trout to start out the year. First brookie of the season, absolute gem. And he already spit the hook. All right, we're gonna keep this guy in the water and uh, maybe get a quick pick and a release. But heck yeah, first brook trout, 2023, all right.
All right, so I'm playing chess with this little brookie here. He came up a couple times and swiped at my dry. Um, switched up to a hare's ear, or um, a little elk hare, and he came up and checked that out. Just kind of nudged at it. So I just dropped a little 20 bead head uh, hare's ear off that. I mean, he's feeding in there for sure. Find the eighth, eighth the dropper. All right. Just a little guy, but man, he, he gave me a run for my money. Took some fly changes and, whoop, there he goes. There you go, buddy. Go get big. <laughs> that was pretty fun, actually. Too bad I couldn't get him on the drive, but. I finally got a cast farther up and I think my I got a little bit better drift with the nymph, but he was feeding. I don't know if there'll be another one, but that was pretty fun. All right, nice little bend pool here. Good, pretty good numbers of midges coming off now, but this is a tough pool to get a drift, so I'm just gonna throw a little beadhead bugger through and See if anybody's around. So I can get untangled here. There's a fish. Yeah, <laughs> I watched him come right out and nab it. All right. All right, another nice brook trout. Heck yeah. He came right out. I could see there was some sand and I could see him slip right out from under those logs and nab it. All right, that might be a little bit bigger than that first guy. Yeah, solid brook trout. For this little stream, that's a nice fish. It's like a nice female. Well, that guy jumped right out of the net. I was trying to set up to do a nice little release and uh, <laughs> I had the net in the water. I do try to keep him in the water if I'm doing a quick slow-mo release. And uh, yeah, he, or she, I think, looked like a nice female. She jumped ship. Can't blame her, but. Right, that is my first trout on the dry fly this season. Just a little brookie, but wow, that was cool. I was really feeling that hole up under that log, man, and I figured they'd take the nymph, but he came up and ate the ate the stem. Heck yeah. When you're fishing in the winter and wearing gloves, you definitely want to take them off because those dry gloves will really harm the fish's protective coat. Look at this little guy eating that big old stimulator. Good for you, buddy.
All right, well, it's getting pretty late, getting a little chilly. So I think I'm gonna wrap that up. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm glad I could get a few brook trout for you to see. Not real huge ones, but on a little creek like this in the winter, hey, that's pretty awesome. Plus, caught one on the dry fly, missed a few on the dry too, so. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed my first video of the season. I've got a lot more coming hopefully this year. Uh, don't forget, uh, give it a thumbs up if you liked the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Leave a comment if you'd like, and I will see you guys next time.